We're with Katie Gross, who has just finished an All-American sixth in the heptathlon here at the NCAAs. Katie, first of all, just some thoughts about about that sixth place finish today and getting that All-American status. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's been like this distant goal I've had ever since I made it to nationals for the first time my sophomore year. And I guess coming into senior year, like <clears throat> that's all I've been thinking about. And towards the end, it was all looking a little grim and I was kind of coming to terms with the fact that maybe I wouldn't get it and I was okay so today was just like the sweetest feeling ever and it was my last meet so it's the best. You started the day in 13th place but you knew you had a couple of your strong events coming up what was your mindset coming into today? I mean I knew that I was going to be behind a little bit on the first day because my stronger events um, are two of the ones on the second day but I guess I wasn't prepared to be in 13th on day one so um, I was, at first I was kind of just like nervous and again, like trying to come to terms with the fact that I might not finish top eight. But then I was like, you know, like I've been doing so well in long jump and jump and, and if I can just lay it all out for 800, I think I can move up a good deal. And so that was just kind of the mentality I had this morning. And the fact that you PR'd on that last long jump, how much of a mental boost did that give you heading into the jab and maybe the 800 even? Yeah, that was awesome. Uh, I don't know. I feel like it's crazy that it's taken so long for my long jump to come together, but I couldn't have asked for like a better finish in it. So that was awesome. And then you had a nice jab tossed on the very first one. Did that mm -hmm. relax you a little bit too? Yeah, knowing that taking... relaxed me knowing that, um, you know, I had a solid mark and everything. I was hoping to improve it a little bit later on in the competition, but that didn't happen. But it was still a good enough mark to, you know, push me up a lot. So that was awesome. And then the 800, how'd you feel going into that? We know it's not your favorite, but you kind of come to terms with that one over the, yeah. over the months too. I mean, I just kept telling myself, I ran 11 800s, and no matter how much I hate it, every time I've survived. <laughs> and um, I don't know, I guess, like, I just knew I had to be, like, a mental warrior on it, even though I hate it so much. And all I kept thinking down the 100 meters was, be all American, and it was, like, all I could think, so it pushed me through. <laughs> When do you think it'll set in that you're all American, or has it maybe set I, in? I think it's set in, and also just the fact that <laughs> I got to do it with one of my best friends, Allie, as a national champion. So it's like so sweet, just the whole moment. I, I don't know. <laughs> and and you're, you're just watching her. I mean, you know, she had a big lead coming in, but you know, she had to go out and win this thing. Yeah. How, what did that mean to you to watch her do something uh, like it's that? Just, I mean, it's so inspirational. I'm like so blessed to have such an amazing training partner. Like no one can say that they get to train with the national champion. So. I'm just, I'm so excited for him. I don't know, it's just one of the best days ever. <laughs> All right.